everybody, I hope you're having a nice day. I'm here to reveal something really exciting. It is a new class. I almost said pattern then, I'm really sorry, it's not yet a pattern, it's a new class. This is the Elsie dress. So before I start talking, I'm gonna show you her. Um, so she's a fitted bodice, and if you see, it's like a V-neck, but it's a very subtle curve. Um, it's quite pretty, it sort of moves like that with quite a wide neck, but not so wide that you can't cover your bra straps. And at the back, it's high up at the back neck there, and it's got lovely big box pleats. Um, um, so really lovely, elegant, long skirt with big box pleats. I'll turn around. Da, da, da. Um, and in the shoot, I'll put a link to the class obviously in the comments, but in the shoot you'll see that I had a petticoat on with it and it just looks stunning. It just comes right out. It's really, really beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm so, so pleased with this. Um, so I've named this dress Elsie, but she's very much based on something that Betty Draper would wear. I was thinking, can I name it Betty Draper too? And then um, the Betty dress number two, and then I was like, no, that's a silly name and it's not great. Elsie is uh, also a name of that era, so that's why I chose Elsie. But I imagine Betty Draper wearing this to one of her glitzy evening do's, and, and that's what I had in mind. So for all of you who love the Betty dress, I think you'll also love this. It's slightly lower on the neck, so for a fuller bust, it um, hopefully will be better for you. Um, and because it's high at the back, some people prefer that sort of high back neck, which is why I designed it like that. So again, I hope that's an attractive feature for you as well. And I've wanted to do a box pleat skirt for a while, like a really big, beautiful box pleat. And I've seen loads of box pleat skirts on Pinterest over the years, and it's been on my to-do list, basically, and I haven't got round to doing it until now. But I'm really, really happy with it. And this fabric is a jacquard, um, so it's very much an evening fabric. So I'm thinking Christmas party dress as um, it seems crazy to be talking about that, but this class won't be running until October. So we obviously always wanna schedule things a little bit further in advance so people can work out if they've got time to do it. And um, then I was thinking by October, you'll be thinking of party dresses. So I've made it in, or rather Julie has made it in this fabric. I haven't made this one. Um, and um, I thought, yeah, it would just give you an idea of how it could look fab for evening party wear. But it also looks very different in the other version, which I will put on in a second. So the level of this dress is probably intermediate, so advanced, beginner, intermediate. Um, obviously, you've got to be able to fit it around the bust, and we will, of course, help you with that in the class. And like all of our classes where fitting's involved, there'll be twirls made up in every single size, so you can try on the twirl at the start of the class, and we can work out which pattern is best for you and what alterations we think you'll need. Um, so yeah, it's apart, apart from the bodice though, it's a really simple skirt. Um, so really easy to put together the skirt is. And it's got an all-in-one armhole and neckline facing. Um, so it finishes really nicely around the neckline as well. This one isn't lined. Or actually, no, the bodice is lined just because it's a bit scratchy, the fabric. But the skirt isn't lined. You don't need to line this pattern unless you choose a scratchy fabric. But of course, if you don't want to do that, you can um, you can just uh, use a slip and wear a slip and that's often what I do. For those of you that can't come to London though, I promise you it is already scheduled for next year as a pattern release. So I've already planned out all of the releases pretty much for next year and this has got its slot. So it will be coming to all of you. But the, what we do at Sew Over It, we always release things as a class first so they're exclusively a class and that gives us a chance to see how it works on different figures as well and then we release it as a pattern so sorry that i can't be releasing it as a pattern straight away but it's gonna come to you anyway hang on there i'm gonna put on the other version and this is the summer dress version so this is made actually out of a stretch cotton but it could be made out of any cotton i just fell in love with this fabric and it happened to be a stretch cotton um, and it's, yeah, 
got a really different feel. You could wear it to a wedding or just for a nice summer's day. Um, just like Betty, it's got that same versatility. Um, and it's really, it's really comfy actually in this stretch cotton, really lovely soft cotton. So yeah, there is some of this fabric guys. I've been saving it so that those of you who want to come to the class and make one, if you did want to make one in this fabric, there is some fabric um, like this saved. Um, um, fortunately, the other fabric, I'm pointing to it there because I've got it to show you the inside of it in a second. But the other fabric I bought from Goldhawk Road um, because I just couldn't find any um, fabric that I liked from our suppliers at the time when we were designing it. But I've since found loads of lovely jacquards and so we're going to have those up on the site and we'll put links to them in the comments below. So I'll show you the inside of it, which is something I don't normally do, which is a bit silly really. I thought it was quite interesting for you to see. So you can see there is the all-in-one um, armhole facing armhole neckline facing and you can see it's just lined in that little bit there just so it's not so scratchy to my skin but that's something that this dress isn't lined at all it's just got the facing on it um, and it's got a concealed zip so I'm twisting it around aimlessly it's got a concealed zip at the back so um, it's a really neat fastening at the back and there is also a little hook and eye Julie is just the be most beautiful seamstress ever and she has done a tiny little thread loop there um, which is lovely so um, there's a really nice little hook and thread loop at the top there and then the hem of course it needs to be hand hem something like this it's a shame to do a machine hem so it's just got a single turning it's overlocked and then turned up with a hand hem and some fabrics do need leveling so because of the way that the skirt is um, and I might show you that by standing up on my stool. Um, you can see that there's a lot of hem there and um, it is curved and so it is dropping at some, some points. So actually this fabric we didn't need to level but the other fabric we did. So um, there may be some leveling required where it hits the bias um, at certain points on the hem. There is also a seam down the middle and that was very much intentional. The seam down the middle is so that we can fit the skirt onto the fabric. Because these pieces are so big, without that centre seam we wouldn't be able to fit it on fabric um, on some of the sizes. So we had to do it like that. So as long as you choose a fabric that isn't, um, I guess a really big fabric, you need to think about pattern matching. But both of these fabrics that we've made these out of, you, didn't need, you don't need to think about pattern matching because it really doesn't show up. Um, and also the box pleat is designed to kind of fold in so you don't really see that seam. Ah, so there we go. You got a little sneak peek of it last week, I think, in the vlog when we were steaming this skirt. And I think also I had, yeah, I had this on when I was showing you my beehive and I had the other one on at the end. So you got a little sneak peek of it. Um, but yeah, I didn't tease you too long. You've got been able to find out what it was a week later. So those of you that can come to the class, come and book on now. Um, we do find that things sell out quite quickly, so if you're interested, then book on now. We've got two dates up on the website. Um, and also it's three sessions, so we're gonna run it across three evenings. Um, so we'll run it in both locations as well, so you can book if you want to go to Islington or Clapham. And yeah that's everything you need to know about it and to those of you just to reiterate who can't come to London for a class it's gonna come it's scheduled to be released next year so just bear with us on that note um, you may have noticed on our Instagram social media or on our site that we are actually looking for a new online class and pattern production manager so we've had someone work with us for a while now who's been brilliant but it's become a full-time role and she's got other things going on so she can't um, commit to full-time so we're going to need to find someone who can and this is a really exciting position so it's based in our Islington store and it's really got the opportunity to make the the role your own and to help us grow um, and produce lots of wonderful content for you guys which I know you'll be pleased about and if we do find the perfect person, then we're going to be able to produce a lot more content for you guys and get patterns out there quicker. So, <clears throat> patterns out there quicker? More quickly. Sorry, my grammar is not always the best. Um, so yeah, so we're looking for that. We'll put a link to it in the comments below so you guys can get quickly to the job description. 
Um, the closing date for it is on the 9th, which is a week. So I'm filming this today on um, Tuesday. So it's a week on Friday. Please apply if you think you'd be interested. Okay, uh, that is it for this week. It's just a quick video. I'm going to show you Poppy because Poppy is actually going to be away for most of the rest of the videos. So September is the super busy month for me. I am here, there and everywhere. I've got trips to Paris for um, work, research things. I've got to go fabric buying there and various other things. I've also got a long weekend with Matt's family in Italy, which will be amazing in Perugia. And then I've also got a big trip to America. So I'm gonna be pre-recording lots of vlogs, but I'm gonna be doing them after I've given my parents Poppy. And she's going up to Yorkshire for a month. We're gonna give her to mum tomorrow at King's Cross Station, make a quick exchange, and she's gonna take her home there. So she'll have a lovely time because my parents have a really lovely big garden and they live in the countryside and they go on lots of lovely walks. So um, I know she'll be very happy but I'm gonna miss her a lot because yeah, I still will be in and out of London and things and I'll um, still be around, but I won't have Poppy. Anyway, I'm gonna get her. Here she is. Hello, Poppy. You have no idea where you're going tomorrow, do you, darling? As always, trying to lick my lipstick. Um, yeah, Poppy actually also had a weekend away with our dog walker um, because we were away at the weekend at the festival and you can't take dogs to the festival. And she apparently had such a nice time and was there were two of the dogs that he were look, was looking after and she loved them and i couldn't believe it because normally she really is scared of other dogs but apparently they got on really well and he kept sending me really nice photos of her um having fun in the garden with them so i was really pleased about that and she came back pretty exhausted so she must have done lots of playing so anyway say goodbye to everyone poppy for a while i promise you the moment i'm back from america once I'm doing my first vlog, I shall be um, showing you pops then. Anyway, there we go, off you go. It's also a good idea because the building works are continuing and they're just really gonna be very noisy. We've had a few complications, so everything's stopped for, the, for this week, but it's gonna be starting up again in the next um, couple of days. So it's good that she's not here because she gets really scared and hides under the table. So. Anyway, that is it for this week. I hope you all have lovely weeks. And I will see you next week for my makes for August, which are coming along nicely. Um, but I've still got a lot to do, so I will be spending the weekend sewing, I think. Okay, bye!